Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've had a pretty major update to the roadmap with the addition of Alpha 3.12, the Q4 2020 patch now at least partially visible on that roadmap. Cloud Imperium have also given some further clarity on goals and delays in 2020. But let's look at what's planned for 3.12, the Q4 patch first, and talk about what else Cloud Imperium have said, haven't said, and what they've suggested. So, it's the first iteration of the 3.12 patch on the roadmap. Expect more features to be added in the coming weeks. That's a, a certain thing. Refinery decks and facilities have been moved from 3.11 to 3.12, but this also now comes with station-based refining also now being a feature that's being shown. Kiosks will be placed around the refining levels and facilities around space stations that will allow players to take their raw mixed mining ore that they've mined in their ship or vehicle and then refine it. These kiosks can be used to create multiple refining jobs which are persistent and then completed over a period of time. It looks like they have different costs as well, all based on their quantity and complexity of any order that you put in. Once one or more of your refinery jobs are completed, the player can then pick up those refined materials which can be sold for a lot more than unrefined ore. It sounds like you'll be able to choose from multiple different types of refining, even for the same type of material, for different yields and stuff like that as well. Um, it'll be interesting to see exactly what's planned for that. Obviously a major part of the sort of more dynamic economy uh, that's going to be coming probably a little bit later. Weapon zeroing tier zero is planned here as well. This system provides the player a way to change the zeroing on their weapon sights. This allows for shots at further distances without having to alter aim to account for bullet drop. Multi-tool tractor beams. So this is the first sort of iteration of tractor beams. The tractor beam is a device that allows you to control the movement of an object without the need for an actor or other entity to be in physical contact with it. At this stage, this should be in the form of a module that you can add to your multi-tool will be purchasable in game and that's going to allow you to move cargo containers or boxes or heavy things potentially do some puzzles and it's obviously quite important for things where you're going to be moving components in and out of ships as well for various reasons mystery armor now a little bit annoyed that they've just gone there's some mystery armor that's going to appear in this patch um i want to have more information not secret information um an upcoming player armor set that they're keeping under wraps for the time being now for me there's three most likely possibilities here one um hopeful and two more reasonable so it could be a mechanic or role based armor that's planned for 3.12 but they haven't told us that it's planned for 3.12 yet so maybe bounty hunter armors maybe um something like salvage armor something like that do you see what i mean because obviously they moved bounty hunting and some of the improvements off the roadmap a little while ago maybe they've got that plan for 3.12 and salvaging armor maybe some of the aspects of 3.12's features allow for early tier salvaging the hopeful armor that I had in mind was Titan suits. I think everyone would want Titan suits. I've been waiting for ages for those cool little stompers, but um, that's less likely. It's also possible that it's something connected to Pyro, um, something like that. So maybe it's the beast armor they showed or, or something that goes, well, actually, Pyro's in 3.12, but that's just a, again, that's more of a speculation. We don't know what the mystery armor is yet, but uh, th those are my hot takes. Let me read you Cloud Imperium's statement on Crusader and Orison's the landing zone there. Previously, we've communicated that our goal was to release Crusader and Orison in the Alpha 3.12 patch. However, we've made the decision to hold Crusader and Orison for a two-part release for Q1, Q2 2021. Since our original goal was set, the team has worked hard to bring existing locations up to standard and has iterated on both existing existing locales and our planetary tech. In addition to updating existing locales, we're also happy to share that the team will be working on developing the art and relevant gameplay for hospitals at major landing zones, which will introduce additional depth that we're looking forward to you experiencing. We are aware that many of you are eager to visit Orison, and we're equally eager to welcome you. If you have followed along as the Stanton system has progressed, you'll likely have noticed how the quality bar has raised each time we've released a new location, from Lawville to Area 18 to New Babbage, and now Orison. The team plans on creating an unforgettable landing zone that continues to raise the bar, the swan song of the Stanton system. We know that you are likely to have more questions, and we'd like to go straight to the source to provide you more information. Next week, July 31st, we welcome art director Ian Leyland and Star 
Citizen Live director Todd Pappy on a special episode of Calling All Devs where we discuss Horizon and Crusader and the road to wrapping up the Stanton system. You'll notice something else major is missing from the conversation and features here, and that's Pyro, that new star system. So um, let's talk about this. Cloud Imperium have been hard at work on the new star system and its addition to the game. It's apparently not dependent on server meshing, though I suspect it would be desirable to have server meshing in there, but I, said, I suppose you could say that for all the mechanics. Um, star Citizen leaks have suggested that they plan to have a two-staged release for Proro, with 3.12 potentially being the first part of that two-stage release and having three to four of the planets ready for them. And I think that sounds actually quite plausible. Could that mean the patch turns into being 4.0? Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. There are a few other things that I think are extremely likely or it makes sense to be in the 3.12 patch. Physical inventory was mentioned for coming in by the end of the year in the Inside Star Citizen. The iCache and full persistence, they've been worked on for some time and they are planned for integration um, for 2020. So probably for Q4 2020. Uh, Vulcan and the Gen 12 renderer stuff, the initial updates for that, that makes sense for the 3.12 patch. New backend services are also planned for this year that they've been working on a while for redundancy for systems, for better server sort of like stability, um, lots of the sort of like the login stability, um, database updates, lots of stuff like that. Docking was also moved off the roadmap after receiving some work and I would expect it to return in Q4. We did see on Inside Star Citizen the Constellation Taurus was being fleshed out now and the Parasite docking with the P52 and P72 for the Constellation series also getting work. That looks like it's planned for 3.12 to me. And if we get docking here, that would be great. Maybe we'd see the hull C as well, because we know that they're working on all the prerequisites for that. I do think it's highly likely that we will see some other vehicles and ships ready for this patch, as well as something maybe new and straight to flyable or drivable as well. I am hoping to see physicalized components for ships. I think that will be the biggest game changer since 3.0 when they add it. It's so important to the core of the game. Salvage tier zero is obviously quite possible as well. Um, that would be sort of like a tier zero in my opinion, would be the removing of components by hand or with a cutting tool on the multi tool uh, and then bringing them back to your ship for sale. Um, physicalized components and tractor beams would be incredibly important and helpful to that mechanic. Uh, also, you could say that tier zero repair would be at the same time, as soon as you can remove physical components and put them back in, that sort of tier zero repair. And we know that they've also been working on sub components as well. Whatever though we get, expect to see more features added to the roadmap in the coming weeks. I am hoping that we see an update to the um, Q1 2021 roadmap in the not too distant future as well and that's sort of it for the 3.12 q4 2020 patch roadmap update that was a bit of a mouthful we will see more in the future but i'm interested to know what you think what features do you think we'll see added to that patch what do you think that mystery armor is are you disappointed by only a few things being shown for that 3.12 patch currently or the delay of crusader and its landing zone is that upsetting you do you think that we will see pro in 2020 whatever your thoughts i'd love to hear from you in the comments below and i just remembered as i was recording i obviously forgot to mention the c2 hercules um star lifter obviously that looks like it's planned for q4 2020 as well and i'm quite excited for it uh, i totally forgot I'm also a massive shill for NordVPN. Check out the links below if you want discount on that and you're looking for a VPN. Shadow gaming PCs, if you want to not own your own gaming PC, but you want to rent one and you can use your power of your internet to leverage that and it's a really good choice for a lot of people, check that out. Shadow gaming links below as well. We're giving a Banu Merchantman away as well throughout July. All we've got to do to be in for a chance of win that is comment on any of my Star Citizen videos made during the month. There's more details of all of that down below. Also, if you want to further support the channel in any way with a patreon or becoming a youtube member or sharing the video or subbing or liking you can do all that as well links to everything's down below please check that out thanks very much for watching guys you take care and i'll see you in the verse